Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Enter the Gungeon Advanced Gungeons and Dragons on the Nintendo Switch. Last time I said that I would do a turbo run this time. So, once you've unlocked the, uh, he's not a hedgehog, but once you've unlocked the turbo guy, you will find him in this room with the blessed princess girl and the, um, challenge run guy and here he is want to go fast radical or do you think everything is fast enough radical oh yeah this is happening he gives me gain speed turbo now i've decided to use the bullet on this run and again this is my very first turbo run and i cannot see this going well like i do not see myself finishing even the first floor here so if, uh, if this is a very short video, do not be surprised. Because <laughs> I would not be surprised. Unless they take this right back down to easy mode. Alright. Whoa! Ooh, he was right on top of me, wasn't he? He's like, the best way for me to probably play this is with the mode that lets me get rid of the bullets. And then once I start taking hits, this is probably all over. Yeah, okay. What do we got here? The lockpick. Sure. Whoa! Ah, it's all over now. You got a heart for me? I need a heart game. Lost all our range. Whoa. Taking two hits. Non turbo, I feel like I am much better. Again, don't be surprised. I wonder what type of filtering it is that makes the game less saturated in color on performance mode. What do we got? Oh, Smiley's Revolver. I will use this in place of the sword that has no range. Whoop. Whoa. And like I said with challenge mode, I expect that uh, playing here would make me better at the game. Especially if I became good at this, right? Like. Being good at playing fast has to make you a better player in general. Has to. How could it not? Uh, so we only got one heart left. We'll head up this way. That's a boss. I thought for sure with the positioning of that there that that was the way I was supposed to go. Oh. Please let me make it to the first floor, boss. If I don't make it to the first floor, boss, then uh, we'll do this again. Ooh, heart container. Perfect, we'll take it. Uh, I would also like a uh, heal, though. Whoa! Yeah, you guys can't hurt me, so whatever. Ooh, RPG. I like the RPG. The RPG is a solid weapon against the boss here. Or I could not fill up my hearts. But I could get uh, closer, it still wouldn't fill them up. Let's take the RPG. Yep, that one and that one. All right, we just want to flip through between those. Perfect. We've done the whole rest of the floor. It's impossible. It was impossible for me to fill up my hearts. So let's go. Oh. Ha. Whoa. Ah. Whoop. 
Oh. I might do this. Got him! I was not expecting to beat this boss. Total surprise. And what'd you give me? Bait launcher. Is bait launcher? I think bait launcher is the tiger one. Launches meat that attracts carnivores. Esoteric weapon was devised by Emmett Calx during one of his famous big game expeditions. The stake thrown by this small catapult will almost certainly draw the attention of any nearby predators. And predators that aren't nearby. What do we got up here? Uh, Casey, I can't afford it. You know, I'd buy it, but I cannot afford it. Alright, down we go. Whew! We're getting there. Unbelievably, we made it past Gatling Gull. In the room that I hate the least, or that I hate the most, with the, uh, two waters on the sides. We still made it. We did not flawless the boss. We took a couple of hits, but, uh, we made it. This is a huge waste. Oh, yes, please. All right, let's keep going. We do this. You guys are... I'm missing at point-blank range. But, you guys are not a threat, even though. Lead Maiden still don't know why everyone has such a hard time with him. Gun Muncher, no. No, Gun Muncher, I have nothing for you today, and I do actually want this way because I want to get that chest if possible. all about it. I still missed. Whoa! Ah! Gosh, you guys are jerks. I do not like being trapped in a very small area like that. With a ton of guys. Uh-oh. Things are not going so well. Hey, it worked. Let me get a sponge. Sponge is pretty good, actually. I can deal with it. Uh, I guess RPG? We're not getting ammo. Oh gosh. You know, this is not my best boss. Got hit there. Ah! Oh. That's not good. Whew. Got him. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, you are going to put on the revolver. And we'll leave the chest there. There's a key right up here. I'm going to buy that key. 
Ooh, Colt 45. I like the Colt 45. I can use this. Um, I'm gonna put there some money on the Nod Key. Let's just make sure I didn't miss the secret room. I did. I did indeed. And we have ammo. Uh, I think we want RPG ammo. Unless this feels all guns the same, which might be the case. Okay. Like, dude, it doesn't matter what gun you pick. It's not that kind of weapon, or not that kind of ammo. Oh! I find it, it's surprising how little I've played with the sword on this run, but again, I don't expect to do well on this run. I expect to do really, really terribly. Oh wow, Lockpick's super lucky today. Uh, the Tearjerker I think is just the worst gun, I'm not going to use that. Uh, we can open this, that's fine, and then down here. We might even see another boss. Whoa. Bro, come on. There you go. Dude, you're not a threat. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Alright, we took down that spider pretty quick, too. Boss time. Let's stay on Smiley for the moment. Oh, gosh. Turbo stick! Turbo stick! Ah! That was the first hit I took. Come on, turbo stick! No way, this is not doing enough damage fast enough. Oh! Oh man. Well, we killed the segment. That's pretty cool. Got him! Unbelievably! Turbo mode, damaged, took down the Amaconda. Unbelievable. Pretty sure I got everything here, let's go. I feel pr oh, wait, nope, there was no extra chest here. Was there? No, no, no. We did use the lock picks twice, and we were successful both times, way better. Then the other day when I was playing as the pilot and lockpick came up as zero. All right, so we're two floors down. We're in turbo mode. So I guess we're three floors down now. Two floors finished. Seems extremely unlikely that we are actually going to beat this floor. Take that. No? All right. 
Yeah, we'll reload this gun. I like this gun. Ah! No, you don't. Uh, I just got something. Whoa! No, you don't. We make spiders worse. Let's give them guns. People that don't like spiders, they're gonna love spiders with guns. No, you don't. Whoa! Look at all this crap. Whoa! Ah! That was bad. Okay, I think we got rid of those spammers. Oh, that's right, we got the sponge. You're not threatening with the sponge. Focus. Uh, there should be. I saw a rat. Oh, it's right here. See? Just checking to make sure that we can open it up by walking on it. And it did work. All right. Whoa! Gotta go fast. Uh, I'm not really interested in this, but let's check it out. Another key, good. So this gun's free. Now, hopefully, they give me the gun muncher that I need for it. Because nobody wants to use the wind up gun. Saw a joke the other day how do you lose the gungeon? Floor one wind up gun. Still doing good. Oh. Listen, buddy, I'm like poison immune here. I don't know what you think you can do to me. But it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work! Oop. I find it interesting that uh, water weapons kill these fireballs instantly, but the ice cube weapon, fire doesn't care. Go! Oh! That was bad. Ha! I think that's the last note, too. I think that's six of six. Some say I'm a joker, but I'm bottling rage. It's tough getting a mimic to gobble this page. Mimic bars. Resourceful rat. My finger's gonna get tired because I am just slamming on this button manually instead of holding it down because the uh, Colt fires faster if you continually press the trigger button. Same with the Smiley's revolver. Most revolvers in the game work that way. You can hold the button to shoot slow or you can just slam it on to spam it out. Whoa! I almost walked right in that pit. Um... 
Oh, I'm getting low now. Oh, this gun's so bad. Time for this absolutely terrible Binding of Isaac weapon. And the, the bullets move just like in Binding of Isaac. Where they copy... They uh, match your velocity. Or your acceleration, I should say. But in Gungeon, you don't want your bullets to match your velocity. Or your acceleration. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Alright. Uh, I don't want this weapon. I really don't want the wind-up gun. Oh my gosh. The charge weapon seems sounds terrible. Pop goes the weasel. Up goes the weasel. This floor is huge! Come on! Uh oh! My god, that's a terrible spot for me. Oh! You can't touch me, it's fine. Ammo? Ammo. Also, curse bullets, which I don't really care about. Gun muncher, yeah, sure. Take that one. Take this, yeah, take the tear jerker too, I don't want you. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, flash ray is not the worst thing in the world. There are worse guns than the flash ray. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that. Give ourselves the best chance for success. And there we go. Alright. Should be a boss down here, I think. We should be pretty darn close to the boss. Let's do this. Time for us to die. Definitely time for us to die. Oh! Ah! 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 You know, if I could beat this guy on turbo, I'd feel pretty good about myself right now. Uh, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. That was pretty good, though. I gotta say, for first turbo run, and I've never killed the lich before, for the first turbo run that I've done, that was really good. I was really happy with that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button if you want to uh, see more Gungeon. I do this very frequently, so feel free to subscribe, uh, share the video, leave me a comment if you want to see more Turbo Runs. Let me know. I'm happy to do them. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, take care. We'll see you next time.